I'm Camila and this is the Entry Radio Independent News. Foiled this under, the Bush who cried wolf. The recent handling of American foreign policy has been a disaster. Violations of the Geneva Convention, humanitarian law and the human rights abound. What's worse are all the lies like questionable claims of worse one, accomplished missions and the sure spread of freedom and democracy. Sir, it's time to own up to the mess you've made. Probably one of the biggest blunders of the Iraq occupation was that predictable shift in the Middle East power. Iran confirmed construction of two nuclear power plants. With Saddam Hussein gone and no longer invincible American military to worry about, the Persian province dumped this nose at Western winds without worry. Heck of a job, Georgie, heck of a job. Sea lions, tigers and bears. Oh my! Even the animals have gone insane. In Australia, a sea lion attacked a surfer. An elephant seal but befuddled boogie boarders in California. In Taiwan, a crocodile ate a zookeeper's arm. What's up with the critters we live on the planet with? Maybe they're pissed off because we are acting like the neighbors from hell. Earth? We don't own it, we only share it. Here is a postcard from the Planet Weed. Spider-Man co-star Kirsten Dunst wants to raise awareness that smoking marijuana makes the world a better... What was I saying? Oh yeah, better place. The cannabis crusading celebrity who plays Mary Jane? No, this is not a joke. In the blockbuster series claims, weed is wonderful. As my friend Tucker J always says, why fight the darkness? Light it up! Size is not enough. As we first saw in Vietnam and now in the Middle East, the big guy doesn't always win. Even in the boxing ring, a much smaller Ruslan Chagayev beat the 7-foot Nikolai Valiu for the heavyweight title. As guys know, size matters, but just not in the way you guys think. Now, boys and girls, get your mind out of the gutter and listen to the next story. Newsflash! Courtney Love is a size queen. The capacious celebrity was sighted in a burly derby bikini looking bodacious. The newly slimmed down singer shut down rumors that the cock diet was responsible. I remember when she called my cell phone for fitness advice. I said, Love, I can sum it up in three words. Valuable, valuable, valuable. Hey, you've always got the game, girlfriend. Kurt Vonnegut Jr., 84, is dead. Opening our doors of perception for 50 years with his writing, he's gone to meet his god of the utterly indifferent, discuss chronos and classic infandibula, and the bittersweet lights of Bacanon philosophy. To quote the deceased, there is only one rule I know of, babies, god damn it, you've got to be kind. In closing, Many times the dreams that come true will hurt you more than the dreams that don't. When you were a child, you dream of growing up. Teens dream of the day they will leave home, get a job and or go to college. On the campus of the Virginia Technical College, alone gunmen more than 32 young students. Dreams are sweet until they are shattered. That sound? My heart is breaking. So it goes. Trzymajcie się. I'm Camila and I just gave you the Entry Radio Independent News.